A sixth person has died from lung disease related to vaping. Earlier this week, the FDA issued a major warning to one of the biggest e-cigarette companies. And today, President Trump announced a plan to pull all flavored e-cigarettes from store shelves. Tonight, though, we're hearing from a vape shop owner in Baldwin County who's going to bat for the industry. News 5's Brianna Hollis reports. The owner of the Salty Vapor here says the proposed restrictions could really hurt the industry and people trying to quit smoking. And he says nothing found inside this door should be hurting anyone. It's a problem that nobody really thought about too much uh, a few years ago, and it's called vaping. The things that are being vaped that people are getting sick from are black market THC products, which have things like vitamin E oil, coconut oil. Daniel Cancelino has been in the vape industry for eight years. People who have quit smoking and started vaping, and they're finding that their life is better. Um, myself, for example, I've been vaping for seven years. I was overweight and I had, a, I had some health issues, but now I go to my doctor, my doctor is extremely happy with me. That very industry he's crediting with saving his life is getting slammed this week. First, the FDA slapped Juul with a warning letter Monday morning. Then the CDC announced it's investigating more than 450 cases of vaping-related illnesses and six cases of vaping-related deaths. Now, President Donald Trump is trying to ban all flavored vaping products. Some stories that we don't want to hear, and we may very well have to do something very, very strong about it. A fruit flavor like a strawberry or a custard flavor or something like that. I says, try something else. It'll take your mind off of that tobacco thought you have. The president's concern about flavors is kids getting a hold of them more easily. A Dan shop, he says he has a foolproof ID scanner to make sure that doesn't happen. The only people that should be using this are people that are quitting smoking, period. In a statement, the American Vaping Association compared the flavor ban to prohibition and says it will hurt many legitimate businesses across the country. Reporting in Daphne, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5. Now, later this week, the Drug Education Council in Mobile will hold a press conference regarding recent illnesses related to e-cigarettes and vaping. Health officials will come together to release new information and data about how this epidemic is impacting our area. That will begin at 10 a.m. Friday at the Drug Council headquarters on Television Avenue.